Hello everyone. It is your December 6th the daily message. December 6th daily message for the collective. Okay, it's general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it resonates with you and you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at the links in the description box below. Um, if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Check back tomorrow uh, for a new message. Um, take it as it resonates. Don't take it if it doesn't. I do cuss in my videos, so if that offends you, please click off. Um, all of my personal readings are donation-based. A, do a donation is required in order to receive a personal reading or even schedule one, but the amount is up to you. Uh, yes, what else, what else, what else? Oh, I have to start remembering to say like, subscribe, and share, but I don't know. I don't, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right to say that. I don't know why. I don't know. People keep telling me I need to say that. It just does not feel right. New moon energy, right? New moon energy. Whew. Choices. Make the best choices. Make the best choices. What a beautiful card. Yeah, make the best choice. I don't think some of us have been making the best choices, but I think we've been trying. You know, it's like... Honestly... I really feel like we're all just doing the best we can with what we have. You know what I mean? Some of you may be presented with some new choices here. Choices having to do with the heart. Okay. An opportunity knocks. Go for it. Opportunity knocks. Go for it. You may have a couple of opportunities. Coming for you. I see new friendships for some of you. And I feel like... I, I, I do see new friendships, but I feel like it's hard. It's hard to uh, trust people for a lot of you. A lot of you have been through a lot of shit. Um, I feel like communication is a little bit off, but you said, but I meant, you know, it's like that sort of thing. Um, I don't know. All I can say is sit with it. So I'm, I'm feeling strongly like for a number of you to say, just sit with it, sit with it. Yeah. When I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. I think you've gotten this in a daily message before, but I mean, obviously it's important. When I lean on the face of the, or the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. I feel like a lot of people are battling right now, um, themselves. So I feel like a lot of people have been presented with things that have been, um, damaging to the soul. Many people are struggling with their ego right now. I feel like, I feel like, was it damaging to the soul or, or was it damaging to the ego, which is something that you needed to have in check a long time ago anyways. A lot of people are having trouble letting go of the ego, I'm feeling like. Okay, I choose to learn through love. I choose to learn through love. <clears throat> what I say from the get-go, like a lot of you are having to make choices, wise choices that have to do with the heart. Opportunity knocks, go for it. I choose to learn through the ego. And when I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. I don't think these cards have numbers. Yeah, these cards don't have numbers. Um, yeah. I feel like a lot of people are having trouble separating the ego and a lot of people say you have to let the ego die completely um, and at times you do <clears throat> but that may be not the best way to say it there may be just not another way to say it but what it is is you have to, you can't let the ego control you you have to have an ego uh, in order to 
maneuver, you know, and navigate throughout this realm, you, you have to. The ego is necessary. But the problem comes when you allow it to rule you, okay? I gotta change these flowers today. I know that came from nowhere. <laughs> Well, it didn't come from nowhere, actually. I feel like many of you feel so wilted and withered, and that's actually, that's where the flower comment came in. It's all connected, I swear, it's all connected. See, Beacon Fairy, guidance, but where will it lead you? Okay, and that's the number three, mind, body, and soul. And I feel like a lot of you are um, either receiving guidance um, and not sure how to take it, not sure what to do, not sure where to go, not sure what to listen to. Many of you are um, in this sort of tug of war uh, battle, you know, um, in the spirit realm, you know, you're in the middle of a spiritual battle. So it's, uh, you know, do, who do I trust? Who do I trust? And that's why I'm so like adamant with y'all about strengthening your spiritual compass because I mean that's the only way you're going to know who to trust you know by using discernment but you know I would I would truly say you need to be running everything through <clears throat> your heart filter okay run everything through your heart filter a clockwork pumpkin, a wonderful idea, and that aha moment, and that is the number 39, which um, reduces to three as well, mind, body, and soul, okay? I feel like a number of you, like I said in the beginning, a number of you have been through so much uh, lately, and with the new moon <clears throat> energy, it's a great time to really release that, whatever your ritual or practices are. And I was talking to somebody else about rituals, uh, I think it was yesterday. Um, a lot of people shy away from that word. But, I mean, and like I said, you know, a ritual, because when you think ritual, right, you think of fucking people dancing naked in the woods or whatever, you know, Hollywood. But if you wake up at the same time every day and drink coffee and turn on the news, that is a ritual, okay? Um, so, yeah, I, I just feel like people's practices are changing. People need to start implementing. It's like if you have to set an alarm every day to remember to meditate or take a deep breath or, or say a prayer or whatever it is, I feel a... Uh, a strong sense of like you need to get back it's like your whole life is out of whack and you may be thinking like well that doesn't have anything what you're talking about doesn't have anything to do with what I'm going through at work what you're talking about doesn't have anything to do with this cheating bastard that's laying beside me every night what you're talking about doesn't have anything to do with my congregation on Sunday or whatever Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Because when your spirituality is out of whack, when you are out of whack as above, so below. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, it does. So, a wonderful idea in that aha moment. I feel like many of you will be or are starting to come to the realization of some things that you cannot hold this anymore. You cannot hold on to this anymore. I'm feeling a lot of like, like, um... It's like, how long are you going to poke that thing? You know what I mean? How long are you going to hold that grudge? Okay? Guidance is coming in for you. Where is it going to lead you? I don't know. I don't know. But you're going to have to start walking at some point. You can't just stay stuck in the mud. Okay? And I think many of you are coming to this realization. I cannot juggle this anymore. I cannot live this way anymore. You know, and that's what I'm saying. You need to um, make some choices and take the opportunity when it knocks. Take the opportunity. Um, if spirit is speaking to you. Are you listening? And I say this all the time, especially a lot of people come to me and say, well, I'm blocked. Well, you're blocked because you blocked yourself, not because spirit blocked you in most cases. 
in most cases. Okay, in most cases, are you listening? And that's why I say, do what you have to do. I feel like a number of you need to get back into some sort of a, a, a ritual, a practice of some sort, okay? And be running th things through your heart filter, okay? And which is going to be very hard for some of you to do because you've been hurt and sort of like, they're showing me like a ping, not a ping pong, a, a pinball machine. You've been bounced around in so many directions and it's going to be hard, but that's why you are lean on spirit. That's why the universe, you know, allows you to hand over some of that shit. All right. Two of wands coming out. Two of wands coming out. This man standing on top of this world. Um, this this vision. This these choices that are needing to be made here. You know, have some of you been envisioning things? Here's here's something else too. I've noticed a lot of people lately have been in super manifestation mode but do not realize they're in manifestation mode. So when you um, start speaking all of this foul negative shit or in these, you're, you get in these patterns of, um, oh, well, that's never going to happen for me or that, that could never happen for me or, oh, you know, yeah, it must be nice, but my, my life doesn't, doesn't work like that or my luck, it would go like this. These things that you are speaking over yourself, you are actually bringing into existence because you are in manifestation mode and you don't realize it. So you literally are creating your shit storms. So yes, you need to be um, taking other people's shit into consideration when you make these choices, let go of some of these grudges and run it through the heart space, the heart filter when it comes to these people, but mainly yourself, mainly yourself. Okay, so after that two of wands, you're getting this three of wands, waiting for those ships to come in. And they are coming. They will come. Um, you've envisioned it. You are in manifestation mode, but, and, but I, I strongly, strongly feel like many of you have these negative thought patterns and these reoccurring. It's sort of like you are speaking ill on yourself you know for those of you that want to talk about black magic and someone cursed me and someone's doing work against me you know maybe maybe but for the most part people that are powerful enough to pull that shit off don't really want to pay the price if and i mean unless you've done something really really bad i usually that's not the case what i find most of the time what's the case is people doing that shit over themselves without even realizing it, okay? And that's why your chariot is coming in reverse. That's why your chariot is coming in reverse. That's why there's been a hiccup in your spiritual road, okay? That's why you've, like, it's like you're going down your path and then all of a sudden a fucking tree falls, right? That's why. That's why. It's not, it's not normally, now there are some cases, okay, I'm not saying for everyone, but a lot of things, a lot of people that come to me and say, I've been cursed and so-and-so put work on me. And when I go in, it's like, no, honey, no, honey, you're speaking ill over yourself. Okay. And I think many of you will come to realize this, um, pretty soon if you haven't already started to wake up to it. Okay. But you know, it, it's easy enough to, to cleanse, to get rid of. For some of you, it's just as simple as changing your thought patterns, okay? And for some of you, you need to go deeper. For some of you, you need to, you need to fast. You need to um, change up your diet. For some of you, you need to go on, you know, true shaman-like journeys. Um, you know, it's, it's different for everyone. But for a lot of you, it's really as simple as changing your thought patterns. Okay, Six of Pentacles coming in reverse, okay? I feel like many of you have been involved in very one-sided situations. And, I've, and, and I'm, again, I'm strongly feeling like many of you are not being generous with yourselves. Many of you are so fucking hard on yourself. And you set out, I feel, for a number of you, you set out to do something, okay? And then it doesn't go as you planned or as you'd hoped. And you're, you're really, you're, you're, you're unforgiving of yourself. It's it, here, here I am again, feeling these negative thought patterns like, fuck, I don't even know why I tried. I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it, you know, or I tried 
and then and here comes so and so. Look, I told you, I told you. It's like this real again. Many of you are in manifestation mode and don't even realize it. So you continue with this negative shit and you bring it on yourself. Many of you are not being generous with yourselves. You've got to lighten up on yourself, okay? You've got to, and you've got to start somewhere, okay? Maybe small, a small area. That's why I say start implementing small rituals and practices, okay? Knight of Pentacles, like I said, it's you got to start small. Start small. Start slow. Knight of Pentacles has to do with mundane, everyday tasks. And that's what I'm saying. Five minutes of meditation. All right, fuck it. Three minutes of meditation. Two minutes. Two minutes of meditation. Sit there at the end of your bed. If you've got kids, you know what I'm saying? Set your alarm before everyone gets up and get up and sit at the end of, the, end of your bed for two minutes, quiet time. Three minutes. Five minutes if you can. You know what I mean? Um... Go, you know, make a deal to go outside and, and you know, sun gaze or sunbathe for five minutes, ten minutes in the morning. You know, whatever it is for you, whatever it is for you. If you want to hop on the treadmill for five minutes, you know, 30 minutes if you can't. Whatever it is for you, I feel like you need to start slow and you need to, to implement some sort of a, a practice, a ritual, okay? Get back in the groove of things and be forgiving if you skip a day, if you miss a day, if you're too tired one day. That doesn't mean you can't start back tomorrow. I feel like many of you have thrown the whole, like you mess up once or something happens and it fucking puts a damper on your shit and then it's like you throw the whole thing away. Like, see, I told you it wasn't going to work. You just throw the whole thing away. And no. Okay, so it didn't work that day. We'll try again tomorrow. And if it doesn't work tomorrow, we'll try again the next day. And if it doesn't work the next day, maybe we need to do something different. And we'll try that out. You know what I mean? Like, you, some of you um, really need to go with the flow a lot more than you have been. Okay? Sun coming in reverse. Sun coming in reverse because I feel like many of you have actually or are actually experiencing a ton of depression. And like I said, you're in this tug of war spiritually um, and, and you are receiving guidance. But where will it take you? Now, for many of you, the walls are completely crumbling. Everything you've ever known is fucking falling to shit in your, in your spirituality. All I can say is embrace it. Embrace it, but many of you are not. Many of you are getting angry, and I understand that. It's it's very uh, it's very easy to get angry when you start to realize that you've been lied to your whole life. But at some point, you're going to have to let that go. At some point, you're going to have to let that go and realize, you know, you need to, to love the people. The people, for the most part, for most of you, the people that have told you and shown you and raised you and and done these things and, and taught you these ways, they didn't know any better, baby. That's what they were taught. You know, they just, they just, they didn't know any better. Okay. It is, some of these people out here are not intentionally trying to lead you astray. Some of them are, don't get it twisted. Some of them bitches are really, really ugly. Okay, and they're really evil and they are trying to mislead you. But for the most part, the people that raised you, the people that, you know, are preaching out on the street corner and shit like that, they don't know any better. They really don't know any better and they're doing the best they can. They really, their heart is in the right place. You know, they just don't have a whole lot of brains, you know, and some of these people out here are robots and you just, that's something you're gonna have to come to terms with. Okay. But I feel like for a lot of you, you have a lot of baggage and emotional thing. I feel like your ego has gotten hurt along the way several times. I feel like you're mad at everybody and there's just, and, and, and most of all, like I said, most of all, you're down on yourself. You're down on yourself. Okay, but opportunity is knocking. Spirit is speaking. Okay, you have some choices to make, some things to let go of, and you're going to get this aha moment. But remember, run it through that heart space, run it through that heart filter. Okay, use discernment little by little, something little each day, and just keep at it. Okay, just keep at it. You're going to, the sun is going to turn around for you. All right, and right now, the moon energy, what I tell you. The sun is going to turn around for you. Nine of Cups. Look at how she's dancing gracefully over those cups. You're going to get, you're going to be okay. Little by little. 
It's going to be okay. And the new moon is a perfect time to light a candle, uh, write a petition, take a spiritual bath, cleanse your house, you know, smudge some sage, you know, light some sweet grass, whatever your practices may be, charge you some water. Y'all don't forget, you know, get you a gallon of water, put it out there, uh, in the yard or on, you know, I don't know how your shit is set up, but, um, get you some water, pray into it, put it out there, let it charge with the new moon energy. Okay. Drink on that for a couple of days. Water your plants with it. Maybe get you a few guys. I do a few gallons at a time, you know, but I don't know what y'all are doing, but at least a gallon or something, you know, whatever you got, let that shit charge in the new moon, light your petitions, do your cleansing to release. Okay. Release and renew. Okay. If nothing else, just so you can take a deep breath and start again. Okay. Yeah, be so that you can release some of these, some of these burdens. Some of the, you you don't have to be so defensive, okay? With this nine of uh, wands coming, look, look. No one's asking you to be fucking. What are those people called? <laughs> I don't know. I'm seeing Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mister America, Wonder Woman. No, you don't have to hold all that shit up. You don't have to be so defensive. You don't let down some of these walls. Like I said, many of you have just, your your ego has been bruised. And it's really as simple as that. And you you do have a right to be upset. Some, some of you have, yeah, people are nasty. People are nasty and they say mean, nasty, hurtful, hateful shit. And that's because somebody bruised their ego. Okay. And you can't be responsible for everybody out here. What you can do, though, is be responsible for yourself. And you can, you know, if you want to pray for them, pray for them. If you, you know, whatever. I feel like a number of you don't got business praying for anybody right now because you have so much going on with yourself. You really need to work on self. And you're so hard on yourself, babies. You are so hard on yourself. And you've got to lighten up. Okay? A high priest is coming in reverse. But the way I'm getting it here is like... I feel like many of you need to start unlocking that intuition, unlocking some of those secrets because they are within you, okay? I feel like a number of you have been ignoring, um, probably subconsciously, information within you, okay? Probably subconsciously. And then, and then for a number of you, it's like I'm feeling strongly like, well... All these people lied to me at false doctrines, false doctrines, false doctrines is continuing to come up. False doctrines. Um, you know, and so now I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to believe from for a number of you. It's is that my thought? Am I thinking that, or is that something I've been programmed to think? For a number of you, it's like you you almost can't even trust yourself anymore. You're not even understanding like what's intuition, what's spirit, and what's your own thought. Okay, and that's something you're just going to have to work out within yourself. Okay, but um, it's going to start with running it through that heart filter and that spiritual compass that I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, I'm telling you, I feel strongly from the beginning. Your heart is hurting. Your heart is hurting. But for a number of you, you're getting your heart confused with your ego. And you're going to have to put that shit to the side. And, you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Judgment. Another card. If you follow me, you know this is the weighing of the heart ceremony. <clears throat> Going before my eye. It's a, out the gate. This is, this is heavily, heavily. Where is your heart at? Okay, there's been a lot of swords stabbed in your heart, a lot of wounds. Some of you have big gaping holes in your heart. Okay, but spirit is coming to repair you if you allow it. But it's going to take a lot of being generous with yourself, being generous and kind with other people. And that may be as simple as, I mean, I know this may not seem kind, but sometimes you just got to tell people to get the fuck out of your face. I mean, you do. You can only take so much, you know, and it's sometimes, and you don't have to say it like that, you know what I mean? But sometimes you just have to tell people, you know, especially people, people that come to you with drama, 
all right, and want to talk. And this may be your sister, your mom, your cousin, your friend that wants to call you and unload on you all the shit that's going on in their life. Well, baby, you got your own shit to take care of. You can't be taking on all of that, right? I love you. I love you, but not today. Not today. I can't do it today. Y'all need to, I, I, like I'm saying, some of y'all don't have no business praying for other people and trying to take on other people's shit and listening to other people's drama. You can't be taking all that on right now. You you have some, some healing and some letting go. You got your own shit to deal with and you can't be taking all, all of that, that energy on. And I get it. They need someone to talk to, you know, but I mean, shit, if they're fixing to put a gun in their mouth or something like that, you know, yeah, stay on the phone. But if it's that same petty ass repetitive girl, he was out last night with that, 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 bitch, I, no, I love you, but not today. I can't, I'm, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all just, y'all really gonna have to start separating yourselves and be generous with yourself. Don't feel bad about it. Do not feel bad about not taking on that negative shit today because you have some healing of your own to do. All right. So I love you all very much. Okay. And I'll see you tomorrow. If this doesn't, didn't resonate, check back tomorrow.